Hi, I'd just like to take this opportunity to talk to you about some of the crime that's currently going on. I've had a lot of questions in and I just thought it was a nice easy time to just clear up some of the confusion and just say exactly what we would recommend. Now, one of the things you have to understand, and it's one of the things we talk about constantly, is that the overall possessions you have are basically worthless. For a start, once upon a time you earned those. At some point you did enough work through your life to earn the car, the watch, whatever's in your handbag. And if you did it once, you can do it again. Secondly, it's probably insured anyway. Thirdly, and what's really important, is that nothing is worth as much as your life. Now, every time we do presentations, or I talk to people, or I talk to groups on traveling safely, or when you're out and about, how to make sure you're safe, one of the basic concepts that we try and get across is that your possessions are worthless. If at any time you're attacked, just give your possessions up. Now, with all the problems going on, we, uh, it's getting lots of publicity. You know, there was a film crew robbed recently where their cameras were taken. Um, George Osborne, I think, had his phone taken. Um, Michael McIntyre was held up and his watch was taken. Now, if anyone decides at that point to put up a fight, you're completely outnumbered. For a start, these gangs who go around uh, hooded up, maybe three, four, six people, they're professionals. What they do is rob people as a profession. That's their living. It's not your living. You probably haven't fought or been in serious conflict for years. These people are doing it on a daily basis. They're experts in what they do. If you just give your watch up, chances are you're going to be safe. If you fight for your watch and you get stabbed, shot, sprayed in the face with acid, what a crazy, crazy thing to do. You know, your watch, say your watch is worth 10,000, okay? If your watch is worth 10,000, you know, it's probably insured. If it's not insured, it's nothing. You know, if I said to you, as you were laying there dying on the street covered in stab wounds, I'll swap your life for 10 grand, I can guarantee that's a deal you would take. You will definitely give me the 10 grand. Yet you're gonna stand up and fight. It's just crazy. Don't do it. Someone said to me recently at one of the things I did, and I grabbed them and wrestled them to the floor. It's like, Man, you're an accountant. You know, you trained for years to be an accountant. You are not a born out and out fighter. These guys, you know, if there's three of them and one of them's got a hammer, that hammer is just going to cause you so much damage. And there's no way you could, you know, put up with that. Your family couldn't put up with that. It's just odds are completely stacked against you. If you've got a watch, a wallet, a handbag, a purse, just give it over. If it's a, just a phone, you know, it's probably on a yearly contract, it's worth a couple of hundred quid, it's insured. Give it over. It does you no good to fight. It comes from someone, okay, one of my businesses is I run a full-time martial arts academy. I've taught people to fight for years. I have MMA fighters, Thai boxers, boxers, you know, I teach people self-defense, I teach, you know, forces guys who come and want to learn a bit of, uh, you know, decent armed combat. But listen, you guys, you're not qualified to put up a fight. Let me just bring this all into context, okay? Just, just focus for a minute. These are the two of the weapons that are on the London streets in common use at the moment. All right, a claw hammer and an axe. You know, a claw hammer that is just swung off the side of a moped onto your head 
is definitely going to cause you serious injury if not death. I can guarantee you would happily give over your watch instead of being whacked in the head with a claw hammer. You know, it takes nothing. Anyone can go and buy this, it's a couple of quid from a hardware store. Yeah, an axe the same. Bizarrely enough, you can buy these anywhere. It may seem a bit crazy, but that's the way it is. And it doesn't even need to be a weapon, it can be anything. But anything that's swung at you in conflict, you're going to lose out. The only thing I would say, I should put them down safely before I say go. The only thing I would say is just pass your possessions off. It may seem counterintuitive, I've worked hard for them. How dare someone take them off me? Guys, you need to put the ego away. The ego is not worth your life. Okay? It's just, I must get this through to people. If you're robbed, just pass your possessions on. You know, one of the tricks we give travellers is to carry two wallets. So one with one card in and a few dollars. Just pass it over. If not, and you've only got one, just give it over anyway. It's meaningless. It really is a minuscule amount of money. You know, if you're working up in London or you've got a good job or you've got a family, you can easily get all of this back. They're passing possessions. Your life, you get one, and you get one chance. And I can guarantee, if you put up a fight over something stupid like a wallet, and you die, your family are left. You've not done what you were meant to be doing. Okay? Try, try and preserve your life. That's, I know the moral side is maybe wrong, and they shouldn't take things, and how dare they, but you need to park that ego. Just pass your possessions across. It really isn't worth your life. If you have a handbag, um, or a laptop bag or something, don't strap it diagonally across you. Because that way, if someone tries to rip it off you as they go past at speed, you're going to be dragged down the street with it. Just have it over one shoulder. And I know they're going to take your bag, and I know it's frustrating, but it's gone. You're safe. You're stood there looking at the moped disappear in the distance. With your possessions, maybe your door keys, maybe your purse, maybe, you know, a nice present you bought someone. But you can easily replace that. If I've got it diagonally across me, someone grabs it, drags me, I go disappearing off down the road. If I'm holding on fighting for that, and I get sprayed in the face with acid, that's just not worth the experience. Please, please, give up your possessions. Call the police, let them do their job, that's what they're trained for, you're not.